all right people welcome welcome again to mg sports tv for another one um so the man a great score the man a great score a brace people he scored a brace on his birthday so happy birthday again the man a great but that was not i saw an interview this morning and the, the, the two goals that the man a great scored it made the interview made the two goals look as if it's nothing it's not relevant <laughs> and i and i could i couldn't believe i really really couldn't believe because i was wondering maybe it's, it's something that we're not used to as as jamaican fans and 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 what, what we've been fed uh, over over the years so we have what we have, we have those stooped down so low to the weak mentality and i'm going to highlight to you the most impressive um thing that demar gray did last night was actually not the two goals for me but the interview and i'm going to highlight to you how how impactful this interview was anyways two goals them them glorious still but <laughs> anyways people look remember people we're on the road to 2000 i'm um, 30 000 subscribers smash the like button hit the subscribe button people join the family let's hit 30 000 subscriber people i'm gonna go, i'm gonna play the video and i want you guys to listen to this interview i might interrupt it every now and then but i want you to listen to this interview people and i'm going to give you my thoughts on it this interview by them um them and them are gray the elite mentality that we should have as a nation and this is where we want to go Let's go. First of all, Demar Gray, baller. Well done in the Big up. Massive, massive respect. Had a wonderful performance. Clean, clean and tidy on the ball, people. But let's get in, let's get into the interview. Um, not going to waste no more on the time. Time is of the essence. So let me just minimize the screen. Put myself here. Good. <clears throat> So let me just go and sit where the MG Sports um, banner is at. So, people, listen up to um, the Margrave himself. I want you guys to listen to him to, um, to the man himself. Let's go. Okay, the right is at three points today. How do you feel about that? Yeah, happy. Uh, it's a very important three points. Um, which is a point to lose against uh, USA in the first game. All right, let me play that back again. USA in the first game. Play about that. Which is a point to lose against uh, USA in the first game. All right. Rem remember, no people. Remember, no people. We didn't lose against USA. No. <laughs> we didn't lose against USA, no people. But how it felt to him, and that's the only thing that he could um understand that 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 game felt like a loss to him. And uh, even though a lot of persons are saying it's a good point, but I'm not showing you that. The difference with an elite mentality and just probably the average Joe. He said he's disappointed with the loss. Maybe it could be a maybe just say it's a, it's a slip of the tongue where he just made an error not remembering that it's a draw. But the innate feeling that he had was as was as if it's a loss. And that's the reason why he has that disappointment in his gut. That's one of the elite mentality aspect. So let's continue. Let's continue with the interview. After being ahead for most um, most of the game, but yeah, this game was important and uh, to score four goals as well. You know, it might come down to goal difference, you never know. So yeah, I think we could have been more ruthless. We had a lot more. Me, I go play that back again, people. More ruthless. We had a lot more. Me say that again. Ruthless. We had a lot more. You hear the term when use, people? We could have been more ruthless. That's what he said. We could have been more ruthless. So, when you, when you, when you look at that, and we wasted so much chance in front of goal, and he mentioned that it might come down to goal difference, and that's, that's what you don't want. You want to be, if it comes down to goal difference, you are in a better position. USA dropped, I think they defeated St. Kitts by six. So we are slightly behind there. We are now, if we can defeat St. Kitts, maybe a little bit higher and see if Trinidad can hold out against USA, maybe we can still end up finishing first. But he said, as I said, the elite mentality, we need to be more ruthless. We have to be ruthless in front of goal. That is a trait that we don't have. That's the reason why we're consistently talking about not scoring our chances. Let's continue. Chances, but three points is most important. 
three points is most important people this is as I, as I said earlier the people that the, the, the two goals that he scored you know the brace that he scored is really really good it's quite it's quite it's quite it's quite decent it's very, it's very good it's quite quality quality goals as well but the elite mentality that this kid have is something that i have to look at and said well done man that is what we need in the squad we need elite mentality in the squad players who know who are going for the going for the juggler i'm not gonna use the word <laughs> players who are going for the juggler to finish games off to finish off teams and if we had been a bit more ruthless in the first half would have would have went in the second half um maybe four nil five nil and then cruise through the second half and you can make a, a few adjustments add, allow players to go and get some rest and and see what's going to happen so we brought on a youngster in, in whisper and he came on and, and scored which means that other players could come on and made an impact but all now people i i did this video to highlight the, the type of player that are the quality players that demari gray is not only on the pitch but off the pitch his mentality on the pitch and off the pitch is 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 very much the importance of what we need in our team right now and i do believe that when i look at the performance last night i think that personally when you go up against usa it's just a usa that came to our mind and we play the name rather than the team and it's just a mentality we need to get over this this fear-mongering mentality that this team is so good so we're, we should be afraid of them no yes we understand respect teams that you play against nothing is wrong with that but don't fear them respect them but don't fear them respect them don't fear them <laughs> exactly so that is something that i learned um in my army lifestyle um lifetime um when things happen you know on the road respect but don't fear if you fear that's when things are gonna happen but i do um love this interview that um and demari gray done and this i like this just put this just put the cherry on top of this performance that he gave last night brace on his birthday he stepped out there looks cool and composed on the ball the technical ability is so top notch so top notch and maybe we don't see, see this the front the front line in our, in, our, in our next game but i'm hopeful that we see something similar and we see that level of continuity but best up people smash the like button hit the subscribe button that's what you think about this interview that demar graded it's, it's it's very very interesting in my perspective people extremely interesting tell us what you think about the interview people smash the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys again until next time Go and hit us to get us to 30,000 subscribers, people. MG Sports TV. And I am out. Boom.